Good morning, everyone. So, I'm new to the YouTube thing. Um, I've always watched YouTube. All that good stuff. Love it. Um, my son watches, mine, watches Minecraft videos constantly and video game things. And I've seen some of the guys on here about Minecraft and videos. And I'm more than positive he watches some of them. But, um, my point to this video is, you know, about <laughs> reviews or whatever. About three months ago, I did a bunch of research on philanthropists. Forgive me if I pronounce it wrong or whatnot, but um, I found this website. I came across this website that you could buy a list from. After I had done some research on it and watched some videos on YouTube about people that had asked for money, there was this one guy on here, forgive me, I can't remember his name, but he'd asked for like a million dollars from all these people. It was I watched the video. It supposedly he had gotten it. I didn't find a follow-up video. He said he was supposed to get the check from this guy in a ceremony or whatever, but I never saw it. But I went on and I read other people, you know, testimonies and how they went about and asked. And some of them got signed autographs and, and things like that. And But anyway, I went on. I cannot remember the name of the site. I'm sorry, but you can always also buy the site on eBay. It comes as a digital download. It gets sent to your email. You download it to your computer. And it contains about four or five lists, depending on the list. The site that you can go to has a list of just billionaires, um, billionaires, and s billionaires, millionaires, and CEOs, and then another one. There's like four different lists. It goes up in price. Um, I think the highest one is um, $49.95 or $39.95, and you get every single list. Um, and then it also at the end has a thing that telling you how to do it or how to write or what to do. And explains to you. Like I said, I had re I had researched it for about two, two and a half weeks before I got the list. Um, when I got the list, I downloaded it. I actually bought mine off eBay because I was having an issue with my card getting off the website. But there is a website. Um, when I got the list, I got the biggest list with every name on this. The billionaires, millionaires, CEOs, um... Uh, the highest tax payers. There was just a bunch of names on there. When I got it, I started with the billionaires list to work my way down. There was about 600 names on the billionaires list. And then I went to the millionaires, which I, I was looking at it, which is about 400 names. The CEOs, I think there was about, I can't remember, but I hadn't got that far yet. I just went on to look at the millionaires after I had finished the billionaire list. Now, when I did this, I sat down for a while probably a good three days to compose a letter. Um, just double spell checking it. You know, in the letter, you know, I basically explained my situation. I did not ask for a set amount of money. I just listed the things that I would do with it if I got it. So, now, I went out and got the envelopes. You know, I got the self seal envelopes, which at Walmart, I think you can get them for about 92 cents for a package of like 35, I think that's what they were. Um, here the stamps are 48 cents a, um, a piece. You get them in a 50, um, 50, I think, no, wait, excuse me, 100 per roll. Um, so you're thinking 600 names, 100 per roll at $50 a piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, that's $300 worth of stamps. Now to mention the, the, um, excuse me, I lost my train of thought. Um, about three hundred dollars for stamps, the envelopes, um, the printing material. Because your my letter that I printed had three pages, um, so the ink, the the paper, everything. And uh, I wrote on the back of the flap of the envelope, um, "Please take the time to read," and I highlighted it in yellow. Um, I addressed them and um, return addressed them in my own handwriting. I signed that note in my own handwriting. Um, I probably should have wrote it by hand, but I mean, it was a lot of letters to write. It would have taken me months to write out to that many letters at three pages a piece. Well, I don't know how long it would have been in my handwriting, but um, so I did it that way. So anyway, I mailed all these letters out. And I can honestly say that um, I have only gotten in the last two months maybe three back saying sorry we cannot help you we only help charitable donations this and that 
another one telling me some websites to go to, like um, local help in my area and things. And other ones came back as undeliverable or refused. I mean, there's still quite a few of them out there. So I don't know what's going to happen in, in the future. But as of right now, things are just not looking very good. I honestly thought that mailing out 600 letters to people, especially like I mailed them to Oprah, Bill Gates, um, the gentleman for Facebook, all that. I mean, it went down from billionaires from the top, top, all the way down to the lowest. I guess I'm just surprised and shocked that that one person, you know, and I'm not expecting, I guess maybe I, I had my, my hopes a little too high, I guess, that, okay, I've read all these letters. I mean, I've seen all this stuff on Facebook, on eBay, um, on YouTube, just Googling it about people helping. And now, to me, it seems like people were just lying about it just to get attention. Because, like I said, I haven't been able to find anybody. Excuse me a minute. Stop! The dogs. I haven't... And, and I mean, I like I said, I did not even ask for a set amount. I just listed the things that I would do. I just can't believe that not one person would take the time to even really acknowledge and then except for the ones that sent back that are saying okay we just don't do charity but it wasn't even the people that I wrote to it was like their secretaries and things like that and on the list there there with the names there might be like three addresses a home a vacation an office and I mailed them to everyone I mean 600 letters it took a long time and maybe I was just expecting more I don't know but it just, it really blows my mind. I wish I had the list right in front of me so I could name off some more names. I bet, let me see if I can find it. So I can name some more. Um, downloads. Let's see here. Um, I'm looking so I can kind of give you some names of who was on the list? Let me see. Please stop. The dogs are. Oh, by all three right here. Okay, billionaire mailing list. All right. Let's see. You know, pull it up just so I can name some names that were on it. Because, I mean, they're legit names and everything. And like I said, not all of them have come back. So, you never know. Okay. All right. I pulled it up. So let's see. Um, uh, Bill Gates was the number one. Uh, Warren Buffett. Larry Ellison. Charles G. Koch. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, David Holt Koch. Um, Christy Walton. Michael Bloomberg. Jim Walton, Sheldon Adelson, Alice Walton, S. Robinson, and it tells you um, what they are, which Jim Walton, of course, is Walmart, Alice Walton is Walmart, um, Jeff Benzos is Amazon.com, Larry Page is Google, Surgery Brin is Google, um, just a lot. Forrest Mars Jr., Mars Candy, John Mars. I mean, there's just, like I said, a lot of names. Mark Zuckerberg from from Facebook. Um, let's see. Just, I mean, just a ton. I mean, I'm just trying to name ones that everybody would know. Um, 
you know, just off the top of their head. Some of them. Um, Ralph Lauren. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Who else would people know? Walmart. Ann Walton. Um, I'm just really surprised I didn't hear from anybody. Like, saying anything, really. I mean, you like I said, you figure you mail out 600 letters. You figure you're going to hear back from somebody. I mean, just something. Just anything. And nothing. I guess that's kind of like a review or something. I mean, if anybody else wants the, ad, the address to the mailing list or, like I said, you can go on eBay and find it also. Uh, if you write down below, I can get the address for you. Maybe somebody will have better luck than I did. But I guess I just figured that they would, somebody would respond or somebody would help or something. Being that, I don't know, they're supposed to be philanthropists that help people and I don't know. But I just wanted to make a video on this today just to, maybe somebody else has had better luck than I do. Maybe somebody could could give me some pointers or something, you know, write down below or comment or, or something and let me know if anybody else has tried it or anybody's had success or I don't know, or your comments on just what you think um, about the situation, about them not doing anything or saying anything or, or anything. Um, but thank you for taking the time to watch this and hopefully I'll get some comments and some feedback and somebody can give me some pointers or something. But until next time, thanks guys and have a good day.